ESPN Radio. Hear the difference. Now the news. I'm Kelo. China will work to further develop consumer services to meet people's demand for diversified and quality services. The State Council issued a guideline setting up key tasks, including tapping the potential of consumption in sectors such as hospitality, domestic services, elderly care, child care, entertainment, tourism, sports and education. It also pledged to foster new types of consumption like digital, green and health services, relax market access and provide more policy support for service consumption. A flash flood and mudslide that struck a southwest Chinese city has killed four people and left 23 others missing. The disaster in Kangjin, Sichuan province, toppled a tunnel bridge and destroyed homes. The collapse of the bridge resulted in the plummeting of four vehicles, with one person rescued and hospitalized. Local authorities have organized a rescue operation, deploying over 1,400 rescuers. More than 900 affected residents have been relocated and resettled. Egypt has reportedly demanded Israel withdraw from the Philadelphia Corridor and the Palestinian side of the Rafah border crossing. Egyptian sources say the country also demanded Israel halt the ongoing offensive on the besieged Gaza Strip. The demands were presented in the meeting between the Egyptian side and an Israeli security delegation in Cairo. The delegation is in the Egyptian capital for negotiations on a possible ceasefire deal. This is the first Israeli delegation to visit Egypt since the assassination of Ismail Haniyeh, head of Hamas's political bureau, on Wednesday in the Iranian capital, Tehran. Hamas has accused Israel of carrying out the assassination. Israel has not claimed the responsibility and has declined to comment. Meantime, an Israeli airstrike on a school in the neighborhood in Gaza City has killed at least 15 Palestinians. The Hamama school shelters thousands of displaced people. Akram al Satari has more on the situation in Gaza. Well, the strikes are still continuous and they are not only in the Gaza Central area. And Khan Yunus, it has been some significant number of attacks taking place in Gaza City as well as in the Gaza North. There are some significant attacks also taking place in Rafah, eastern area where the Israeli occupation forces are trying to advance in an area that is called Zalapa to the very east of Rafah. And they have been confronting the Palestinian resistance that made a statement that the fighters of al qassam Brigade have been trying to defend that area and that have been also fighting and it's a changing fire with the Israeli occupation case to face. In East Gaza City and in South Gaza City, in Gaza Central Area, in al Burej, like you rightly said, and in Khan Yunus Area. Multiple arrests have been made after violent demonstrations erupted across the UK following the deadly stabbings in Southport. Protesters clashed with police officers in several UK cities, including Manchester, Liverpool, Bristol, Leeds and Nottingham. Some of the arrested demonstrators face charges such as violent disorder, criminal damage, assault and racial and religious threatening behaviour. Prime Minister Keir Starmer has affirmed the government's full support for the police. The attack at a dance workshop in Southport left three children dead and multiple others injured. A 17-year-old boy has been charged with murder. Chadian President Mahmoud Idris Debi Itno has warned of a flooding threat in the capital after heavy rain battered the city for days. He made the statement after convening a crisis meeting with government officials to discuss how to deal with the threat. The president says N'Djamena is experiencing the start of flooding with submerged places. More than 6,000 firefighters are battling the largest blaze of the year in California's Central Valley as weather conditions offer no relief. The wildfire has burned more than 162,000 hectares, an area larger than the city of Los Angeles. The wildfire season in the U.S. has had an intense start. Oregon, Idaho, Montana and Texas have also seen large-scale wildfires. In sports, Zhen Qingwen has become the first Chinese player to win a tennis singles gold medal at the Olympics. She beat Donna Vekic in straight sets at the women's singles final of the Paris Games. This is the 16th gold medal for Team China at the Games. And that's the news. I'm Tim.